Zimbabwean prophet Melonti Gorasi had prophesied AKA's death. I saw this one coming, guys. I definitely saw it coming. I'm not trying to say that um, I disagree with the prophecy, but I just knew that there was going to be something like this. Okay, that is how the story goes. Zimbabwean prophet Melonti Gorasi had made headlines after accurately prophesying the death of South African hip hop. Legend, a.k.a. a.k.a. also known as Kanan Forbes, passed away at the age of 35 after being shot at a popular restaurant in Durban. The news of his death quickly brought attention to the prophecies made by Orasi the previous year. On November 9, 2022, Orasi made a series of 2023 predictions that have since sparked the interest of many. In the prophecies, Orasi stated that a young male rapper in his mid ages would die soon. The statement proved to be accurate as AKA's death occurred only a few months later. In addition to AKA's death, Orasi also made several other predictions that are yet to come to pass. He spoke of a Zimbabwean socialite who would fall sick in 2023 and possibly pass away a prime minister in Africa who would also pass away, and a popular Zimbabwean politician who would be hospitalized and may die without intercession. He also mentioned the death of three well-known public figures in Zimbabwe from cancer and a new war in 2023 that would be significant. Orasi also predicted the divorce of a popular Nigerian preacher and the development of Zambia into a powerhouse in Africa with clean policies. Wow, wow, we love this one. He warned Edgar Lungu to rest to avoid disappointment and spoke of another army general who was sleeping as well as a South African musician and actress who also rest shortly. Wow. The prophet spoke of a great crowd gathering stampede and the overthrow of at least three heads of state in 290 days. He warned of a great famine and mass deaths from plane crash and the crash of a Zimbabwean helicopter. Orasi also predicted the death of a Zimbabwean footballer within the next 300 days and mass loss of life from floods in Sudan, Kenya, Brazil, and Mozambique. Despite these predictions, Orasi ended his prophecy with a message of hope, stating that there would be great economic development throughout the world and a change of fortunes in 2024. Although many may doubt the accuracy of his predictions, Orasi maintained that a all shall come to pass. In another post, Orasi had also warned of a spike in gang-related crimes in Durban, which may have been a factor in AKA's death. The prophecy has raised questions about the accuracy of prophecy and the power of prediction in our world. While some may view it as a coincidence, others see it as a sign of a great power at work, regardless of personal beliefs, the death of AKA and the prophecy made by Orasi have sparked a conversation about the role of prophecy in our lives and the potential for change in the future. Guys, today I'll prefer or I'll, I choose to sit back and check at the comments as they roll in the comment section. It would be a pleasure to actually hear what you guys think about prophecies, about uh, this kind of uh, churches, the new churches that have just mushroomed and, you know, are all over the world. What are your thoughts, guys? Uh, yeah, let me just know, guys, in the comment section. I'll just comment. I usually try to not miss any comment, even though some comments are like saved by Facebook, guys. I don't get to see some comments, especially like I chose to actually like to not receive certain comments. I don't know how they choose them. I always just see that uh, someone commented that's not uh, like affiliated with you in a way. And then I don't even get to, even if I try to open that comment, I can't access the comment unless if maybe I go and change the settings. But I think I will rather prefer to keep things that way because some things are better. You don't know them. 
my love is real and i'll see you on the next video please remember to give this video a like and a share and consider subscribing or following just in case you are not